What do you think about the gate, babe? Pretty cool. Go fast, don't die. Did you hear it thrash around? Dude, I'm still shaking. That thing had a beat on me, man. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pascal. Demo. Art of Adventure. I gotcha. Welcome back to our channel. We are in Alexander Springs in the Ocala National Forest. Yes. I gotta say, this place is pretty perfect. Man. Here are the three big things you need to know before you go. Let's go. Let's go. There is a lot to love about Alexander Springs. Crystal clear water a huge swimming area, and 72 degree water year round. It's not hard to see why this spring is a favorite for the locals. If you plan things right, I think Alexander Springs will be one of your special spots too. We've got it almost all to ourselves. Time of day and time of year are key. The park opens at 8 a.m. daily. And in the summer months, between Memorial Day and Labor Day, you better be in line by then. For comparison's sake, this is what 10 a.m. on a Thursday looks like in mid-May. Yeah. Now, I will tell you, Alexander Springs is kind of pricey for a Florida spring. It is. Right now, a day pass costs $12 per person. But here's some of what you get. A parking lot with easy loading and unloading. A dolly you can use for free to bring your kayak or canoe down to the launch. Access to ADA compliant bathrooms and showers. A nice big shaded lawn with picnic tables and grills that are first come first serve. And my favorite part, the spring head. This swimming area is huge. It's 300 feet by 250 feet. And there's something for everyone. Alexander Springs recently ranked at the top of our list of most family-friendly springs. Here's why. Access to the water is super easy. There are several sets of stairs that lead right down to the water's edge. At the bottom of the steps, the water is quite shallow. If you want to sit and hang out with smaller kids, this is a perfect spring for that. If you want to explore and go a bit deeper, you'll find a gentle slope with a mostly sandy bottom that gradually leads you to the spring head. Make sure you bring your mask fins and snorkel. There is a lot to see, and this is a great spot to test your deep diving skills. The spring vent at Alexander's sits about 28 feet deep. I do a lot of spring hopping, and I gotta tell you, this spring head is gorgeous. The water stays crystal clear, and the rock formations are stunning in the sunlight. It's not unusual to share this area with scuba divers. This is the only spring in the Ocala National Forest that allows scuba. So although it's not deep, it's a good spot for working on skills or testing out new equipment. Keep your eyes open for different kinds of freshwater fish. And if you're lucky, you may even see one of the otters that like to hang out near the spring head. I try to keep up with this little guy, but no chance. All right, while we're on the subject of wildlife, what do you think about the gator, babe? Pretty cool. It's probably a good time to tell you about the alligators. Okay, promise me you won't freak out. Well, at least try not to freak out. Hear me out. There are two resident gators that call this spot home. They're not very big, maybe five or six feet from nose to tail. They normally hang out in the grassy, sort of swampy area on the sides of the spring. There are ropes to keep swimmers from going too close. But yeah, they live here, so if you see them, just give them their space. Gator's right there. It's not that big. A little resonant. It's a friend, right? If it's a deal breaker, I understand, but I hope you stick around a little longer because there is a lot more to love about this place. 
like free access to its kayak and paddleboard launch. Don't have your own boat? Don't worry. Kayak rentals start at just 20 bucks. Alexander Springs Creek is a 12-mile stream that starts at the Springhead and snakes its way east to Lake Dexter and eventually the St. Johns River. See the other small gator? Right on that log. You would eye on me. There are a couple of important things to know about this paddle. The halfway point to Lake Dexter at six and a half miles is called 52 Landing. If you want to stop here, you'll have to schedule your own shuttle back to Alexander Springs. If you want to paddle back, just remember you'll be going against the current and your total paddle will be close to 13 miles. Yeah, that's a lot. There is a much shorter paddle that I recommend for first timers. Start at Alexander Springs, flow with the current to the boat ramp that sits just past the 445 bridge. Use that as your turning point. When you get back to Alexander Springs, your total distance will be right around two and a half miles, maybe a couple hours on the water. Now here's a little secret that's not so secret. You can park and use the boat ramp at 445 for free. So you can always start here and then paddle toward the spring head. It's a good option if the park has already reached capacity for the day. Just know if you get out of the boat at the park and try to use the amenities, they will still charge you $12. By the way, swimming is not recommended along Alexander Springs Creek. And uh, yeah, I found out why. Hey y'all, be careful on your left side, that little tiny cove right there. There's a pretty big gator and it wigged out when I went by. You see like the, yeah. it. oh, it's like kind of going under now. Yeah. Woo. Dude, I'm still shaking. Yeah. Gator mating season is between April and June. Oh then the mamas get very territorial over their eggs in June and July. I think I spooked that particular gator when I paddled by. It started thrashing around and then I lost it when it went underwater. Yeah, I got freaked out, but I held my composure and paddled back with a few other people. You know, safety in numbers, right? In all, I saw about six gators on this paddle. Mostly little guys, like this one, crossing the creek right in front of us. They are cute. I do get asked about alligators all the time. Despite today's encounters, I stand by my previous statements. They don't want anything to do with you. If you stay off the banks and leave them alone when you see them, you should be just fine. Here are a few more pro tips for making the most of your day. If you plan on visiting Alexander Springs often, or any of the three springs managed by Adventure Ocala, you may want to consider a Springs Hopper Pass. They cost $75 per person per year and give you access to Alexander, Juniper, and Silver Glen Springs. The park does take credit cards now. That makes things a lot easier. Make sure you pack plenty of water and snacks when you visit. Depending on the time of year, the general store may be closed. No alcohol is allowed in the park, but it is permitted in the campground area. Campsites start at $34 a night. You'll have to reserve your spot ahead of time. Tubes are allowed in the spring head, but not on the spring run. Oh, and watch out for the very aggressive squirrels that live in the park. They're used to humans now and used to our food. So they'll come right up and try to snatch your stuff. You crazy. And talk about wildlife. We even saw a black bear while we were leaving the park. That's true. Part of our three W's. Wildlife, water, and when to visit. Three things to know before you go. True. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. And while you're there, you might as well go ahead and subscribe too and join this journey. Come on now. Just do it. Come on. If you like our merch or want to know more about any of the things we talked about, we have links in the description below. True. We want our experiences to help make your next adventure epic. That's why we're here. That's what Art of Adventure is all about. Thanks. All that's left for you to do. Come on now. Tell them, babe. Just go get it. Go get it, y'all. It's right there. 
see y'all there. Come on.